Hey again, so we have looked into geometric and also physical property of horizontal alignment. We know what is super elevation, what is the function of the super elevation, and now we want to know what is the effect or what is the function of stopping side distance SSD into horizontal alignment. This diagram shows a spiral curve that consists of two transition curves at the beginning and at the end of the simple circular curve. So now we want to look into the lateral clearance. What does it mean by lateral clearance? Let us look into this diagram. From the beginning of the curve till the end of the curve, that is what we call as L. The L is length of the curve. In this route, it has two number of lean, two number of lanes, which one lane per direction, one lane per direction, this direction and this direction. We consider it as a basic uh, rural highway, which only one lane per direction. So, let us consider the lane in this direction. Okay, normally it range between three to three point five meter. So, at the center line of the inside lane, okay center line of inside lane so this is the inside lane so how to know either it is a inside lane or outer lane the inside lane is the one that close to the center of the circle so where is the center of the circle somewhere here probably okay so this road the purple arrow here it is an inside lane for example this is your car it is from plan view. Okay, let's say your eyesight from here, when you reach this point, you can see until here. Your view is further ahead till here. You still can see from this point to this point. Why? Because there is an obstruction in the middle here. There is an obstruction that block your view. Okay? It's block your view. So, the distance from here till here, that is what we call as stopping side distance. Which, if you see any obstacle somewhere here, at green, not here, you still can react if you see any obstacle on the green point. So that is the definition of stopping sight distance at horizontal alignment where you can see an obstruction or any object ahead. So that is stopping sight distance. So now we want to look into lateral clearance. So what is the lateral clearance? On the center line of the inside lane, ha, titik tengah di lane paling dalam, which is at this blue point, till the obstruction. That is what we call as lateral clearance, M. From the center line of inside lane to the obstruction, the distance in meter and the symbol is M, we call as lateral clearance which you can see any object ahead without any obstruction so that is your lateral clearance i will show you how to understand the definition of lateral clearance so when talking about lateral clearance it is on basic highway at the spiral or circular curve and it must has two lane which is 
one lane per direction. Okay, this direction, this direction. So, when considering lateral clearance, we have to consider the inside lane. So, this is inside lane. Okay, inside lane. So, the lateral clearance is measured from the center line of the inside lane. So, where is the center line? Center line is this green color. Okay, center line of inside lane. So, the lateral clearance is measured from the center line of inside lane to the obstruction at the roadside. So, let's say there is a building here. Okay, there is a building that probably block the view of the drivers while driving. For example, this is your car. Okay, from here, okay, as a driver, you can see the object up to, for example, from here, okay, probably you can see up to here. So that is actually your sight distance. Okay, but when you reach another point here, for example, here at this point, your sight distance will be different. You can see probably up to this point. So basically, the stopping sight distance is keep changing of each driver based on the obstruction ahead. But to simplify a design and calculation of lateral clearance in this course, we only consider the distance from the center line of inside lane at the middle of the curve. So, the middle of the curve is, this is the length of the curve. Yeah, the length of the curve, L. Okay, so L. So, from the middle of the curve, Till the obstruction. So this is M, which is lateral clearance. This would be a clearer view of lateral clearance. Let's say for this example, it is in the tunnel. Okay, but then it's only one uh, way. But it's okay for the lateral clearance. We still need to consider the inside lane. So basically, in this tunnel, it has three number of lanes. So the inside lane is here, from here to here. This is the inside lane. The center line of the inside lane probably at this point. Center line of inside lane. From here, let's say you as a driver, you only can see up to here. So that is your stopping sight distance. You still can react if there are any obstruction near this area. But beyond this area, you can't see. So let's say there is a car accident in front. So you can't react at this point. But when you move forward, probably you can see there is an accident happen uh, ahead so that you can react later on. But for this case, the lateral clearance of this point of view, okay, from the center line of inside lane until the wall, as there is obstruction here, you can't see more or beyond the wall. So from the center line of inside lane till the wall. So that is your lateral clearance. You can see to the right up to that point. Okay? Right. Now, we know that the stopping sight distance has two components, which the first component is during perception reaction time. And the formula is 0 0.28 VT. V is the speed traveling in kilometer per hour. And the T is perception reaction time in second. Plus the second component of the stopping sight distance, which is the distance travel during braking. So, because we want to completely stop, we want to completely stop, therefore, 
it's only v square. It is supposed to be v square minus u square, if you still remember. But for this stopping side distance, we want to completely stop. Therefore, the final speed equal to 0. That is why we simplify it becomes v square over 254 multiplied by f, the root friction, plus minus g. The g is the gradient of the root. And bear in mind, the f and g must be in decimal point. The answer of this SSD is in meter. In order to calculate the lateral clearance, that is m, we have to use this formula, which the most important parameter is the r, radius of the curve, and also the SSD. You can use the exact value of the SSD into this formula. Okay, so the m equal to r multiplied by 1 minus cos of all of this. 28.65 multiplied by stopping side distance over r, radius of the curve. Okay, let us look into this simple example. A horizontal curve having a radius of 800 meter. This is the radius of the curve, forms part of a two-lane highway, which is one lane per direction, that has a posted limit of 80 km per hour. 80 km per hour is posted limit. It is not design speed. Posted limit is speed limit that is normally established at 85th percentile. If the highway is flat at this section, that's mean the g equal to zero, determine the minimum distance a large billboard can be placed from the center line of the inside lane of the curve without reducing the required SSD. Assume perception reaction time as 2.5 seconds and the friction equal to 0.1. Let us extract all the important information. The R equal to 800, the U equal to 80 km per hour, the T equal to 2.5 seconds, and the F equal to 0.1. We want to install a large billboard by the roadside. So we want to know what is the minimum distance can we place the billboard without reducing the SSD. Because if we put the billboard too close to the road, so, it will reduce the stopping side distance. Maksudnya, bila lah kita letak billboard tu, tahu tak? Billboard yang iklan kat tepi jalan yang besar tu, kita letak terlalu dekat dengan jalan. Jadi, dia akan menghalang penglihatan pemandu. Bila dia menghalang penglihatan pemandu, jika ada any obstruction ahead, so, driver tak sempat nak bertindak. Okay, that is why we have to consider what is the minimum lateral clearance from the center line of inside lane to the obstruction. Sebab kita tak nak, we don't want to reduce the stopping side distance. Okay, so the solution, we have to calculate the SSD. SSD equal to 0 0.28 VT plus V squared over 254 F plus minus G. So given the speed 80, the T 2.5, so we take 80 as the speed, 0 0.1 for the friction and gradient equal to 0. And we get the SSD equal to 308 meter. To calculate the lateral clearance, M equal to R, radius of the curve, multiplied by 1 minus Cos 28.65 stopping side distance, which is 308, over the R. R is given as 800. Then we get 14.8 meter. That means from the center line of the inside lane of the horizontal alignment, 
we can place the billboard 14.8 meter apart. Okay, maksudnya kita boleh letak billboard tu 14.8 meter menjauhi ke dalam daripada center line of the inside lane. Okay, boleh? 